And final game of the day, we got 10:30. Arizona State, who's one and five. Trump number five. Washington, who's six and oh. Washington favored by 26 and a half points on FS1. Trenton Bourgeois. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you pronounce this game, but he's the new quarterback for Arizona State. He's a new guy since last time I've been talking about him. Has gone 64 and 98, thrown for 726 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. Cam Scadabo. He's had 93 carries for 367 yards and five touchdowns. And Elijah Badger has had 33 catches for 422 yards and two touchdowns. Michael Penix Jr. has gone 155 to 215, thrown for 2,301 yards, 20 touchdowns, three interceptions. And he is by far, in my eyes, the Heisman favorite to win this year. He has been amazing for these Huskies, and he's putting them in an excellent position to be a playoff football team. Dylan Johnson's had 61 carries for 340 yards and five touchdowns. And Rome Adunzi has had 40 catches for 300. 736 yards and six touchdowns. Arizona State, weirdly enough, leads the series 22 17 all time. Last two games have gone to Arizona State 2021, and I'm sure a lot of people remember last year 2022, especially if you're a Washington fan. Because remember, at the end of the year, Washington ended at 10 and 2. That was a game Arizona State beat them. It was a huge upset. Not only did that keep them out of the Pac 12 championship game, but that made them not playoff eligible. Like, not only did that knock them out of, kept them out of the Pac 12 championship game, Imagine if Washington doesn't lose that game. USC Washington plays for a playoff spot. Whoever wins that game would have been in the playoffs. Whoever lost it wouldn't be, right? That allowed Ohio State to skate into the playoffs, right? I almost pulled off the upset against Georgia. That was a crazy good game. CJ Stroud played his butt off in that game. But we almost, that almost never happened. If Washington does not lose that crazy fluke game to Arizona State last year, Washington or USC is in the playoffs. Utah doesn't make the Pac-12 championship game. Utah doesn't beat USC and knock them out of it. Or, here's another thing, TCU might not make the playoffs, right? Because they've shown the want to leave a team that loses its conference championship out of the playoffs. I take it back. I honestly think Ohio State makes it. I don't think we see TCU's crazy run last year. I think we see either Washington or USC in the playoffs and Ohio State in the playoffs, and we see TSU left out of it. Anyways, Arizona State changed the entire playoff landscape with one game last year. Can they do it again? Because that would be crazy, right? This is a Washington team that's undefeated. This is the Pac-12 favorite to make the playoffs. Washington's coming off a huge win, right? Louisville Warnia coming off a huge win. Chance to be upset. It was a huge win against Oregon, right? Chance for a little bit of a letdown. But normally, a little bit of a letdown is enough to still beat a team that you're better than, like Arizona State. Arizona State's coming off a bye. This is, a, this is what Louisville faced last week, right? Where you're coming off a huge game, where you won a big football game. Louisville beat Notre Dame. Washington beat Oregon. You're facing a team that has one win heading into it. Not even an FCS win. They don't have any FBS wins yet, right? But they're coming off a bye. It's a very similar scenario we saw last week. I think we see a pretty good game, Pac-12 after dark. I love some Pac-12 after dark, man. We've been treated some really good games. USC, Arizona State was underrated a couple weeks ago. And as like Arizona State is not a super talented football team, I really appreciate teams that are undermanned and definitely doesn't have the talent, but they play their heart out. This is what the Arizona Cardinals are in the NFL. This is what Arizona State has been, for at least for me. They played their butts off against USC. We've seen some really good Pac-12 after dark. I mean, Colorado State, Colorado was a crazy game. And then last week we got treated, uh, actually a couple weeks ago now, we got USC, Arizona. It was a great Pac-12 after dark, triple overtime. Pac-12 after dark this year has been living up to the hype. I think it lives up to the hype here. I think Arizona State keeps this game way closer than it should be against Washington. Give me the Sun Devils on the road to cover, but Washington to eke out a victory at home. 